so hello and welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look at how you can create custom emit snippets inside of vs code so let's get started so snippets okay you might know what are snippets and you might also know what is emit okay in this uh, in visual studio code so uh, i have a blank folder right over here um, on this path so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna open it with code so that i can show you how this thing works so basically um here is the folder so for example if i just uh, double click to create a new file and then i go ahead and change the type to html now first things first if you want to see emit so if i press exclamation and then uh, press tab or enter this generates me this boilerplate if i want to create an h1 i just say h1 and then i do this and if i want h2 i can just do this wait a second let me just fix this okay so here it will show you the emit abbreviation and then when you press enter or tab or just click that it will generate that tag if you want to create a div with some class so for example a container div so you do that dot container and then it does that so this is emit basically and it is built in in the vs code now what if you want to create a nav bar and in your in each of your websites you want to create the same nav bar uh, the same HTML but you write uh, the code same so instead of that you can just uh, basically use emit okay but that also that is also a bit cumbersome because you then write a long emit snippet so for example if I want a heading inside of nav or let's say dot heading so what that's what this will do is it will create a div with the class of uh, heading inside of my nav tag and then if you want an h1 inside of that you do that but how can you get out of this so this is a pretty long thing which you might have to write to generate this thing so we're gonna write snippet for that so it's very simple what you need to do is just go to that folder go to that empty folder and remember that this I mean this folder should be preserved for your snippets right so go to any folder on your machine I have this empty folder in in this path so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file called snippets.json and that's what you have to call it okay uh, you have to call it snippets.json and this thing works with the Visual Studio Code version 1.51 only. So if you know, if I go to help and release notes, it's the it's a new feature in this version, so October 2020. So you can just read out the release notes right from here. And I also leave, leave the link in the description where you can read it on the website. So yeah, now on this file, what you can do is it's pretty simple it's a, it's a json file so you open up a json object and then you can write the language name so html in our case and then we have to open up another object then you say snippets and then you open another object and now you can tell the snippet name okay so what you will write so for example i write your snippet and then, then put the value so for example i want uh, an h1 to get generated when i uh, say your snippet so now what you have to do is once you have done this you can do the configuration you can go to the settings and search for a setting called extensions path extensions path so here it is I met extensions path you can just click on edit on edit in settings.json and here what you have to put is the path to the folder where you have this setting uh, snippets.json file so right here I have this snippets.json file in this folder so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the path I'm gonna paste it right over here now this gives me some errors because of this backslash so let's put another backslash to escape that and here we go just save that and you are done with it 
now what you can do is we wrote your snippet and that will also that will actually generate an h1 for us so i'll say your snippet and as you can see that generates me an h1 if i click that here you go so let's do something complex so i want a div with the class of container and i also want uh, an h1 inside of it with the class of title so hit save and what you'll see is if I write your snippet now it generates me this thing a div with the class of container and an h1 inside of that with the class of title so here we go now this thing is awesome because if you have something a long element okay and you won't waste your time writing a long emit snippet then it would be very helpful to you uh, this feature so right here on the emit documentation you can see the abbreviations part and i'll leave this link in the description below so that you also can read about it so what do we have here is we have a simple and basic nav bar so this is the abbreviation or this is this uh, code if you write and it will generate you this thing so whenever you want to create a nav bar i am not sure you'll remember this thing so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and we're going to go on to our vs code let's go into the snippets.json and let's create another snippet so let's just say this is going to be navbar or just nav or no let's let's do navbar because nav is already a tag in html and then we had copied that and let's paste that now i want to make some changes first things first we have this hash page which which will generate a div with an id of page i actually don't want that i want to generate a nav tag so this will generate a nav tag div with the class of logo and we don't actually need this div so dot logo and plus ul and then it will generate a ul with the id of navigation and then inside of the ul it will generate five allies uh, five allies with an a tag inside of each and inside of the a tag it will say item and the dollar sign means basically the cursor so that's it for the nav bar and what you'll see if i just say nav bar this will generate me a whole nav bar now i'm gonna say i can say just like that and then href i can put any href i want okay whatever and that dollar means actually the number of times i'm doing i think so you can read all about it on the documentation which is an awesome documentation emmet has a really really useful documentation yeah maybe they don't have search but they have a very good documentation where you can just click on any of these okay and you can just take a look at that you can also comment right over here i guess maybe and so we have a simple navbar snippet created right now which is just this code and we generate this much with the help of the snippet so basically we are doing a snippet for a snippet i hope you understand how this thing works you can create your own awesome snippets and then you can also create a github repository with uh, these kind of cool emit snippets that we can use in visual studio code so that will also be helpful to everyone in this world so i hope you learn how this works let me know in the comments below if you are facing any problem i'm not sure if it will also work for css so if it works then let me know and finally thanks for watching